and welcome back to the Reapers. We're in our MIA and today we're looking at gun pods, a mixture of different gun pods and cannon pods and rockets. We can all roll it into one tutorial because they're all pretty similar. So first of all we need to arm up. Before we arm up we need to set our radio to intercom. So we want this up here set to ITS intercom so we can talk to the ground crew. Then left alt and apostrophe for me and I get the arming screen. So what we're going to have today is on the inner pylons 3 and 4 we're going to have rockets. Uh, would you like to explain the four different types of rocket style? Yeah, sure. So we have S8 rockets. They're all the same caliber. They come in 20 round pods. Uh, we have the KOM version which is a uh, shape charge warhead. So against um, lightly or medium armored vehicles, against heavily armored vehicles they're still not going to do much. OFP2 is uh, high explosive fragmentation. OM would be illumination uh, rockets and TSM are smoke rockets. So I'm going to put some frag, uh, some frags in there. Roger. Now next we're going to do gun pods two and five. Sorry, pods. Uh, sorry, positions two and five. I can have rockets again, or I can have pods. And the pods I can have the GUV AP30, which is a 30 mil low velocity cannon. Would you agree? Yes. They actually call it a grenade launcher in the manual. Roger. Oh, we've got the GUV Yak B GS uh, HP, which is just God. Um, each each of these pods uh, consist of one 12.7mm uh, uh, rotary cannon and two times 7.62mm rotary cannons. So that's a total, if I click, if I had two of them, of six rotary cannons, which is ridiculous. Um, or we've got the UPK 23250. That is the 20, pretty much standard issue, Russian 23mm cannon. Uh, so just for the biggest buck, uh, bang for our buck, we're going to go for the Yak Bs. And on the outer pylons, 1 and 6, we can have rockets again, or we can have the GOV AP-30 uh, grenade launcher. So we're going to go for the GOV, and we're going to ask him to arm us up. That is just fully armed up. So first of all, we're going to start shooting off some rockets. So let's start arming ourselves out. Main circuit brake panel along the top of the um, uh, top of the cockpit. Uh, these, this, and these are all armaments. So we can turn all of them on with the uh, uh, master switch there. All of them on and all of them on. Next, we're going to go to the secondary armament panel. This, we want to make sure our main switch is turned up, which it already is, so that's fine. Uh, so here we've got the ammo counter. So in this case, this one here is the outer pylons. That is the uh, 30 mil cannons. Uh, here is 900, sorry, that is 300 rounds of 30 mil cannons. Here is 900 rounds of 12.7 uh, mil, the central guns on the Yak B. And the 1800 rounds, I believe that would be the 7.62 rotary cannons of the Yak B pods. Would you agree with that? We'll find out in a minute. But Yeah, so basically you do get uh, 900 rounds per rotary cannon. In other words, ammo for days. Yeah, roger that. Right, and next we go to the primary armament panel. So first of all, we're going to go rockets. Do we want to fire them in fours, sixteens or eights? Uh, so I'm going to go for fours. Um, the next, um, right, the right switch, do you want to take that, Stahl? Yeah, basically it just selects uh, which pods are going to be emptied first, uh, whether it's going to be the inner and outward pods or the center pods, or you can just leave it on auto and it will automatically go through all the pods. Roger, okay, uh, so next we've got these uh, arm armament selector switch, so we've got bottom hip RS, as rockets, PKT, is that, the, is that the grenade launcher? No, PKT is not implemented. That would be a nose-mounted machine gun. Oh, Roger. And a UPK is the 20 through, 23 mil cannon, which we don't have at the moment, so we're going to go on to rockets. Okay, all this stuff here is to do with the guns, so we're not going to touch any of that yet. Uh, we're going to turn our master arm on by pressing that. And you can see the red light is on. And also see now, if we look through our glass with our tracker, we've now got a crosshair to use. Fire the rockets, we're going to be pressing release weapons right i'm going to take off um and uh, just have a little bit of a flyabout so give me something to fire at sir
That is some serious firepower, Starlington. Yeah, I imagine you could bring 120 of those rockets. Wow, that's pretty sick. Wow, look at everything's burning. That's pretty cool. Right, I'm going to land now, and next we're going to start looking at the guns. So first of all, we'll take the 30mm grenade launchers. Okay, so to override our rockets, uh, we are going to go to this right control panel here, and we're going to turn to gun. This now override our rockets and just works with our gun. Now we've got to tell it which guns to use. We can only fire one type of gun at a time and um, how we're going to use it. So we've got cut off here. Cut off means basically burst. Do you want to fire them in bursts or do you want to fire them in one long, you know, shot? Uh, I'm going to fire them in one long shot, so I'm going to keep that off. If you did go for burst, you've got burst length here. You have 0.2 seconds, 0.4 seconds, 0.6 seconds and so on for the size of the burst. Mose, this try decided switch decides which type of guns you're going to be firing. Uh, so if I just want to fire the 30mm grenades on the outer wings, I will go to the up position, the 800. If I wanted to fire the 12.7mm uh, rotary cannons, if I can get it on the uh, inner pylon, inner pylon, sorry, middle pylons, I would pick 642. And if I wanted to fire the 7.62 uh, Gatling guns, I would fire 622. Open up here, this isolates just the 330mm, or this allows us to fire any of the guns. Charges, these are for reloading and clearing jam. Um, yes, John? That last thing is not quite accurate, I think. Um, the switch on the cover basically just tells the helicopter whether you have only 30 millimeters or whether you're mixing, mixing and matching with the Yak B pods. Okay. So uh, if you have only 30 millimeters, you could have those on the outer and the center pylons. You would flip that switch up, and if you want to fire the center pylon uh, 30 millimeters, you would also set it to the bottom left selector next to it. Roger. Okay, so I'm going to put it down. So we're telling it we've got yak bees and 30 mils. Uh, we've got charges for clearing jams. We're not particularly interested in that. PCF is gun cam. We're not interested in that. So, first of all, why don't we fire our um, 7.62 miniguns? Let's go and have a quick look at them from the outside. So you can see on the middle pylon, you've got a 12.7 mil Gatling gun in the middle and two um, 7.62 Gatling guns. So if I wanted to fire, we'll just pull the trigger. And from outside. Next, let's try our 12.7 mil uh, Gatling guns. And finally, we're going to try our 30mm grenade launchers. One thing to note, uh, my DCS is bugged at the moment, so I can fire them, but they don't actually have any impact, so there's no explosions. Uh, to prove that it does work on a non-bugged PC, can you come and fire in front of me with the 30mm star? Oh, sure, one second. That is the 30 mil when it's not bugged. So it's a pretty awesome grenade launcher. Right, Stoll. Uh, anything else you want to mention about that before we finish off? Uh, yeah, we should probably give the UPK 23 millimeters also a go. So do you want to rearm now? Yeah. Uh, one thing to mention also about the GUV gun pods. Uh, as long as you have the selector at your co-pilot side on the gun position, it overrides your UPK 23s as well as your rockets, so you're not going to be able to fire them until you turn them fire. Roger, right, let's rearm up with UK B 23s and report back. Okay, yeah, rearming. Okay, we're now armed up with rockets and our UPK 23 mils. Right, Charles, so I'm armed up with my UPK 23 mils, so I'd like to fire my UKP 23 mils from the uh, central pylon. So the first thing I want to do is go to the pilot, uh, the, um, sorry, the co-pilot's weapon uh, area and turn off the gun, yeah? Yeah, just make sure it's not on gun. Roger. And what next on the primary control for, uh, armament panel? Uh, you'll just have to set it to UPK, and that should do the trick. Everything else is already set up, the master arm is already up, uh, as well as the main switch on the top of this control panel. Ooh, lovely! Confirm that you only get short bursts out of them, even though you've not got your burst on. 
you do. Right. Uh, the burst select has nothing to do with this. Uh, that section of the of the weapons control panel is purely for your GV gun bots. So that's the AKBs and the 30 millimeters. Roger. And just to show, we can switch back to rockets now. One more thing we could mention: if you look at the at the gun sight, there's a knob on it. Uh, with that, you can set the gun sight elevate. So is this like a depression? Oh yeah. Yes. So. Yeah, sure. Okay. Fine, Stahl. Can I confirm at this point that the viewers would like to see us fight to the death with guns? I would assume as much. Yes, yes. I thought so. Uh, let the cap get airborne. This might take a second. Where are you, Charlington? No, you don't. No, you don't, Stahl. I'm just losing some weight. Oh, okay. Right. We're going to start in three, two, one, go. Oh, horrible. Oh, he's, he's got a hit. He's got a hit already. This is why they call it a super cap. That's what you didn't realize. Another hit. <laughs> you actually killed my pilot. I'm a man in your seat. <laughs> that is literally how you fly an MAR. I'm a natural at this stuff. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful. Um, and um, I'll see you later. Get out in your MIA. Get bombing, get grenading, get gunning, and get cannoning. Have fun, and we'll see you later.